All right, welcome back. So let's discuss what is the AFK exam. This is your first step after applying, and this is the first exam, and this is the one that you want to focus on the most to get the highest mark because it will open more opportunities. So this is short for the assessment of fundamental knowledge. Okay, and there's 300 multiple choice questions. Okay, so you have 150 questions in, in three hours to do those 150 questions. Now, recently, they made it a half hour break and then another 150 for three hours. Okay, so they made a half hour break when they made it online. So now the the uh, the exam is actually in Prometric centers, center. So you're going to do it online on a computer, not like before where it was on paper based. Okay, so this is a new thing. It's going to be first time to try this technique. Uh, so uh, and they tried it with the ACJ a year ago. They started this with the ACJ a year ago and there were kind of problems with it. So some people's computers would just kind of not work. Uh, some connections would just get messed up. So unfortunately, some of you may be lucky or others will be unlucky with the center okay, or the computer, um, unfortunately. However, it is new, so they may have these kind of software issues with it, right? And obviously, there's going to, it's going to be Prometric centers in Canada, a bunch in the US, and even in Europe. So you don't even have to do the exam in Canada, right? If you're, if you're anywhere in London, uh, what I know is that they had a center in London, Paris, even in Belgium, uh, Hong Kong, Australia. So there's centers all over the world. Uh, once you once you apply for the AFK and you're approved and everything, they'll show you what centers are available at that time. So they might have some closed and some open, uh, depending on on uh, depending on on the case at that time. Maybe depending on how many students apply for that location too. Okay. So that is the 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 con the you know the the protocol or the structure of the exam. So how do you prepare for this exam? Well. I'll tell you the first way is to take a course. Okay, uh, we'll help you prepare for it. Uh, if you're not taking a course, basically, even if you're taking a course, the focus is on released questions and review books or materials, right? So released questions means the NDEB has a set of released questions that they put on their website. So they might have 2019 released questions and there might be in there like 400 pages of questions pages not 400 questions pages of questions each each page may have eight seven questions and a bunch of review materials and books that we're going to talk about so just to tell you there is something called released questions okay almost every year there's a new release so for example 2016 there was a released question question document or or pdf okay that had 300 to 400 pages, okay? Uh, 2015, there was also a PDF that had... Now, here's the thing. They are almost the same. Almost same questions, okay? So, but most of the time, there may be two to 300 new questions in the new PDF. So you might find two, maybe 100 to 300 new questions. However, they don't usually put these questions at the end. It's just all in there somehow randomly. So we always go through um, and compare the 215 with the other one and we extract the 200 and that's also taught in our course. Okay, so so we tr we do that work for you or even sometimes students would get together and, and help out if, if we're really crunched, but we do it now for you. Don't worry. Uh, and now 2017, you're going to have PDF, another new 200 questions maybe. So we have to f go in there and find the new 200 uh, questions are inside the, the 400 page document, right? Now, currently in 2020, uh, the NDEB did not release a new question set. So that's good. That means you guys are still using up to 2019, which is fine. So this is also important because when you use um, the PDF that's from the NDEB, it's, it's kind of hard because they're not organized, right? It's just a random document. You've probably seen it with question, 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 question. So it could be any topic. You might see this question. Oh, this one. Oh, it's old question. Uh, this one is already from the, it's, it's repeated. I've already read this question before. Oh, here's a new one. 
Um, here's, oh, this is an endo. Oh, this one is a uh, surgery. So it's like that. And you don't know what you're getting. We organize this all for you into subjects. Okay. It's all organized into endo subject, uh, surgery. Uh, it's all organized in the course. Here's a sample of what the questions look like. So you have questions that look like this, um, which is one straightforward answer. So you could look at this question. I mean, I think all of you know the answer. What do you guys think the answer is? I'll get to that. Uh, so oh, Manny, Manny Deep uh, is asking, will the questions only be asked from the PDF? No, no way. If, okay. So that's what we call release questions. Okay. These questions have to, by the end of the course, they, you have to become an expert in them. Okay. They will become easy for you. So in the actual exam, you might get 20 to 40% from the released from this PDF. So when you come by them in the exam, you better know them very well. You don't need to waste time on them because you have a bunch of other new questions that you might have. And those questions, the other, uh, the other 60 to 80%, a lot of them are going to be similar to what we have in our mock exams. And then there's going to be, let's say, uh, maybe I could say like maybe 20 to 30%, like super new, brand new questions. And those are the ones that you want to spend your time thinking about. Okay. Uh, so back to this, I, uh, the answer here is actually strep mutants because the recent research says that the etiology of caries on a root surface, um, is actually the same as the one on crowns. So I know the old concept used to say actinomyces, but, uh, strep because of that, they found that no, actually it's still the S mutants. Uh, the etiology is still the same. Anyway, we're not going to go deep into teaching right now. Uh, just the concept. And you have other style questions that you'll find in the PDF that look like this. We call these multiple of multiple. Uh, so you'll have four options and then you have to combine the correct, which ones are correct. And it always comes like this. One, two, three, one, three, two, four, four. It's always like this most of the time. Okay. <clears throat> So, um, in this case, well, I don't really care about the answer here. We'll talk about it in the course when we get to it. But the concept is, um, these do not appear in the exam anymore. All right. So you don't have to worry about this, this style. Okay. Um, so what is the thing here? Um, in the PDF, you will find questions like this. So in the course, we will study it. Why? To learn. But just know that it won't come in the exam. Okay, so what they will do is, okay, how could you make this question an exam question? Okay, so, so this means this is right, this is right, this is right, and this is wrong, right? You're with me, guys? Okay. So, okay. So that means what I'm going to do as an examiner, I'm going to delete this, right? And I could say all of the following are true in root carries risk in adults, except done. Now you just have to choose this one. So they could take, we call these, um, Dr. Haj and I actually call these re modified released. Okay. That's what we give them a name. We call them modified released. So it's a release question, but just modified. So it shouldn't be a tough one. Okay. <clears throat> we will talk about that soon. No problems. But we need you to just follow with me here. I have, I have slide by slide, right? So we have to move through the slides and then we'll get to all these questions. Okay. <clears throat> And then I'll take your questions after. Just try to focus your attention on what I'm saying right now. Because I know here, here's another studying tip, guys, to pass this exam. Focus on what I'm teaching now, not on what you're thinking ahead. Okay. 
focus right now what I'm saying. And then if I don't, if, if by the time I'm done, I do not answer your question, then I recommend everybody get a pen and paper. And if you have a question, write it down, but focus on what I'm teaching right now at this moment. Okay. Because you might ask a question about this later, right? <clears throat> and then at the end, if, uh, if it's not answered, we'll go through your questions, everyone. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So, and also there's a way of bringing this multiple of multiple uh, without actually bringing the multiple of multiple. So option A could be like uh, maybe cementum and dentin. Option B could be <clears throat> cementum, dentin, enamel, for example. So it's kind of like a multiple of multiple, but in a different way, right? But still, it's, it's, it's more comforting not to have it. So we will still learn it <clears throat> because you want to learn what's in, inside the, the PDF, basically, on these questions. Okay. Now, yes, you won't find the old PDFs on the website because you don't need them. Uh, anyway, the summarized version of all of these questions uh, basically will be studied during the course. So you don't have to worry about that. You don't, you don't worry about getting it yourself. Uh, for now, you could only get to 2019. Okay.